Hello, my beautiful YouTube people. It's me, Brenda, and today my Ipsy finally came in. Let's open her up. And she look -a like a this. Oh, this is really pretty. It's got lemons. It's yellow. It reminds me of pina coladas. But they're not pina coladas. They're lemons. And it has a little yellow zipper. Oh, the inside is green. It's a pastel green. Nice. And it has Ipsy on the little ribbon. Okay. Let's get in here and see what we got. The very first thing that I'm taking out here is this little cardboard fold. Now in season, Fresh Spring Beauty. It says, build your dream bag. Get any glam bag product you want every month on the 2nd starting at 6 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. You'll have a chance to add on whatever deluxe size samples or full size products you like. Mark your calendar and create your ultimate beauty stash. Cool. And on the inside, we get all of the products and what they are. So it looks like that. It looks like that. All right, let's get started. First things first, there is something in the outside of my bag today, and we're getting one, two, three, four, five products. The very first thing in here, <laughs> and I love it when we get little brushes. This is from Firma. And Firma, this is the 103 Firma brush. It looks to be either, I would use this for blush or for contour. This is so soft. The ferrule is a, like a bronzy color, bronzy pink color almost. And then this is white and it is plastic. It looks like it's wood but it's not it's plastic but these little bristles are so soft they're very very soft i love this i really like this it doesn't look to have any fallout it doesn't look like it has anything that's out of order like all the little bristles look to be exactly tapered in Good. So this Firma Beauty 103 Angel Contour Brush. It says Firma Beauty's mission is to keep products out of landfills by using sustainable material only, and we are here for it. This contour brush is angled to trace the curves of your face for streak-free application, and the soft synthetic bristles hold down without any spillage. And that's what this is. I'm really excited about receiving this. A girl could never have too many brushes unless you're just not someone that uses that type of makeup that you need a brush for. But um, I have said it in the past, my very most favorite brushes right now are still the Luxie brushes. But this is like very similar to the feel of the Luxie, the Luxie brushes. It's very nice. I'm so sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the background. My daughter is homesick today and there's also a ton of work going on right outside of my house. They're working on our street. So I do apologize for all that extra noise this time around. But I'm, I still I can't stop saying it. I really am excited about receiving this here. So here's that. The next item in here is the Balm Cosmetics, the Balm Jure. Creamy lip stain. Huh, no mask. Oh, this is so cute. I guess because it's so tiny, I didn't see it. But it has like the little cartoon thing of a lady with glasses on. Like the comic strip people, you know? It says, aside from Adorbs packaging that screams girl power, the bombs known for the quick fix products that are easy on your wallet. This very pink stained gloss, hybrid coast lips in rich color, moisturizes them and lasts for hours. Oh cool, so this is a lip stain. This is something we don't see very often from the bomb in subscription boxes. 
It does not have a smell, but this is what this looks like. This is a very pretty color. If it wasn't because I'm on my way out the door, I would try this on for you. Um, you know what? I'm going to try it on, on top of this one. It does have a very nice feel. Extremely creamy. My lips were kind of drying out because what I do have on is a matte lipstick. And this feels very creamy. It does not have a scent. It's a creamy lip stain gloss. Stain and shine. And this you can purchase at www.ipsy.com slash shop. Really happy about this one too. All right, guys. So I'm telling you guys, Ipsy's got it going on. I mean, let me tell you. Okay, so the next item in here is the Huanji Su Broccoli Plumping Mask and Red Fruits Brightening Mask, which is what was outside of the bag. And in here, there are two. There are two masks. Let's see what they look like. So they look like this. So this is the broccoli plumping mask, and this is the red, uh, it says the red fruits brightening mask. This is dermatology tested, EWG verified, naturally driven, 99.6%. Uneven skin tones, dryness and dullness, and uneven texture, that's a solution. This is a solution for those. And this one says, uh, vegan approved plump skin broccoli plumping mask, mask uh it's a solution for signs of aging tired skin lack of vitality what is it what is it dermatology tested ewg verified naturally derived 99.6 percent so this is from dr huang beauty lab this is nice i don't think i've ever had anything from this brand and i'm excited to use it looks they look fun the packaging is very nice it's like that very well-made, very well-made thick packaging. I don't know if, even if anybody cares about the packaging. I care about the packaging. Packaging is a, means a lot to me. So let's read about these. It says, this is the Huanji Su Broccoli Plumping Mask and Red Fruit Brightening Mask. It says, this set has not one, but two superfood infused masks you'll love. The red fruit mask is made with acerola and red love apple to brighten up and even out dull skin. And the broccoli mask is packed with vitamin C, beta carotene, and broccoli extracts to plump and hydrate. So it just says, after you cleanse your face, apply the mask, wait for 15 minutes, then remove it and pat the excess into the skin to absorb. So this is awesome. It says this set has not one but two. This is eco-friendly approved. These masks are natural, organic, and vegan. Uh, this is founded by Jisoo Huang. This brand is committed to pure natural skincare. And it's all dermatology tested. So what the EWG stands for is Environmentally Working Groups. Not too many people know this, but I always look for stamps of this sort. The EWG stamp is one of the ones that I always look for. And like I said, I do have a background. I'm, I'm a, I have a master's in public health and a, a, ba a bachelor's in health promotion program planning. So I do know a little bit more about chemicals and you know health and things of that nature. And one of my main one of my main focuses when I was in public health was the environmental uh, studies, which is where I learned a lot about the EWG stamp of approval. I don't know how much you all know about this, but I have, I feel like it's important to add this on here because you don't see very many items right now with that stamp of approval. According to um, the CDC and according to um, the WHO, Right now, there's only about 1,300 items out in the United States that have been EWG approved, Environmental Workers Group approved. And 
that's very very little compared to how many products we use every single day i mean just in a single day the average woman uses 12 different products for their face for their skincare or for their you know body lotions shampoo hairspray makeup conditioners all those fragrances your what you wash your clothes with what you wash your dishes with all of those items many of the products on the market today um, are made with chemicals that were introduced many many decades ago and they're still approved even though scientists have found out that a lot of these products are causing cancer birth defects asthma a, a lot of health issues and they still haven't put a stop to it so that's where the EWG came in and they've actually gone above and beyond testing products to make sure that if an item is EWG certified that means that none of these things are in those and products. I remember that when I was doing my studies I learned that at that time and those back this was back in 2012 but still it wasn't too long ago um, that only 40% of women are educated enough or, or know that they need to stay away from things that have parabens, phthalates, uh, sulfates, and those type of items. And I don't know if any of you knew, but it's been more than 80 years since Congress passed legislation regulating the cosmetic industry, which means that they don't have a stop to say, even though we know this item is causing cancer, it's causing birth defects, it's causing infertility, it's causing asthma, even though we know that this is happening with this product, we're, we're gonna still we're gonna stop it so nobody's doing that but that's why when i look for that seal that says ewg i feel good about it because i know that it's already gone through all their testing and they've approved it so while other countries right now have banned almost 1300 ingredients from use in cosmetics the united states has only actually banned 11. so that's a huge difference there's 29 ingredients were banned uh, in Canada cosmetics, 15 were banned in European cosmetics, 55 were banned, um, are not allowed at all in European cosmetics or hair dyes. Five ingredients in California are known to cause cancer and they're still using them and they're still allowed to put them in those. Six ingredients known to the state of California have toxins in them severe toxins that are still being allowed to produce that they're, they're still allowed to produce these items and people are still buying them even though everyone knows that that's what these things are being these things are causing cancers and life-threatening illnesses so i don't understand why legislation hasn't stopped that um so that's why i look for that ewg verified stamp of approval <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm scaring everybody. So I'm sure everybody's going to be running through their stuff going, is it EWG verified? Is it? I'm so sorry to scare anybody, but I just wanted to put that out there in case you didn't know. So um, when you ever see anything that is EWG verified, that's what it means. It means that they're environmentally working groups verified. Next item in our bag is from Laura Sanchez. Y'all remember this palette? That's where this look comes from. So for this look, I used this white one for the bottom, which does not look white whatsoever, and then the purple one for the crease, and then I just buffed it out. Those are the two that I used for this look. So if you like this look, that's how I did it. And now we are receiving, so we got this in the Ipsy Plus bag. And now we are receiving a tiny one. I have no idea what this is, but let's read it. It says, with much love, I present to you moods, a palette that defines who I am. On one hand, sweet and feminine, on the other, strong and determined. I name the tones of this palette using emojis, which are the form of global, expre of global expression. So visual that it breaks the language barrier. I want you to have a little bit of my love in your makeup kit. From Laura Sanchez. Let's see what this looks like. The packaging is so freaking deliciously cute. Look at that. It's the same packaging as the other one. So when you open her up, she's a fool. And you know what? Laura Sanchez kind of looks like this chick right here. So I'm, I think this is supposed to be her. 
Uh, oh, look at this color. Look at that color. I have not used this one yet. I think this is in the palette as well. Let me look again. See, the palette has the same concept. Yes, it is. It's in the palette. So I'll swatch the palette since I've already I've already used the palette. So pretty. Look at that. Look how nice and creamy that is. And we're going to do a little swatchy right here. Yeah. This is one of the colors that... I mean, I liked every single one of these. I'm going to get up all up in this palette. I'm telling y'all, I really, really, really liked the colors in this palette this if you are if you love makeup if you're into makeup if if you want a change of the same old same old brown mauvey if you want this is the palette to go with you guys i'm not joking this is a beautiful palette when i first saw the colors i was like Finally, finally, because other than that one, the, the other palette that I was in love with, well, actually, I love all my palettes, but the one that I really, really like because it has bold colors is this par uh, Block Party palette. I think we got that one in Lola Beauty Box. I don't remember, but anyways, every palette has its own little thing that I love about it, but this palette... I mean, one, she's a Latina, so my girl, you know what I mean? And then, I mean, look how cute this packaging is. If you look her up, if you look up Laura Sanchez, she looks like this chick right here. Her hair's not this long, but she does look like her. I'm really excited about um, receiving this here this is a really this is really good to keep and I think since I already have that palette this is gonna probably be going into one of my giveaways and whoever gets it look at that beautiful green guys this is beautiful let me read what this says this Colombian makeup artist was Nick's faces 2016 beauty vlogger of the year and her brand is all about bold colors and self-expression this creamy olive green with gold shimmer blends easily to set your creative urges free it is darling look how beautiful that is it really is very pretty very very pretty it's nice and creamy and it does have a shift, like whenever you turn, it does give it like there's a bronze that you could see in here. I really like this. You know, I'm going to make a look with this tomorrow. I, I have to. I have to get in this green. I love it. The next item in here, the next and the last item in here, you guys, is this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Hydrating Primer. So that's cool. We're getting a primer. So this says, this brand new prime is loaded with jojoba and grass seed extracts to moisturize and keep your skin hydrated for 12 full hours and coconut to smooth your skin. Plus, it helps your makeup look better and last longer. And like all of Tarte's fab formulas, this one's vegan and cruelty free. What else can you ask for? Ipsy, look, I'm telling you, Ipsy's got it freaking going on. Let me tell you. These are all sample sizes, but look how big the samples are. I mean, this is not this is not a sample. This is a full size one color eyeshadow, but it is a full size. This is a big sample of a lip stain. This is not your tiny itty bitty itsy teeny weeny. This one here is going to last a while. This is a primer, guys. This is this is going to last a while. You can't see that because of the lighting. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm working on my lighting. I have ordered another uh, ring light. It's supposed to be much, much better, much bigger with a lot more different settings. So hopefully that'll help out a bit with the lighting. This, like for like, I don't think... I'll be giving anything away from here other than this one because I have the entire palette. So, you know, this is going to go to a good home. Somebody's going to really enjoy this one. This is beautiful. I, I just can't stop showing this colors. It's just beautiful. Look. 
And then these, my face needs all the help it can get. So thank you and thank you. Thank you both. What did you guys think of this bag? This was a really good bag, wasn't it? Thank you so, so much to Ipsy. They are they are really killing it. I'm telling you, you keep hearing it, but it's for real. Like, they are seriously doing the thing because, I mean, these are really good size products. I love when I receive my Ipsy. $10, guys. That's all it is. If you're interested in subscribing to ipsy if you're not a subscriber already i do have a link in my description box that you can uh use it is a referral code so i believe you either get a discount with that code or you'll receive something extra for free on your first subscription bag so check that out if you're interested and i also have a lot of other different uh referral links there were the same thing some of them are just the link some of them actually do have a discount code or something extra you'll get in your first subscription bag. So if you're interested in that, check those out down here in the description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that cool stuff. I'll see you in the next unboxing. Goodbye.